All right, guys, I'm pretty excited to show you the next iteration of Falco. Um, you know, we thought Flight 1 wasn't easy enough. We wanted to make it easier. So this is something brand new. We have a brand new board we put in here. Nothing's been configured on this. It's just been flashed to the latest. Absolutely nothing's been set up or anything like that. All we've done is flash it with the latest and solder up our radio to it. It uh, doesn't matter what radio you use, it'll work with any of them. Um, and we're gonna show you how easy the setup is. What's nice about this is there is no computer needed. You can take it out of the package, put it in your quad, and that's it. Uh, from there on, everything's gonna be done via the OSD. So the very first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is take off the props. So let's do that, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we've taken off the props. The next step is going to be to plug in the battery, put on the goggles. From there, it's going to boot into a wizard to let you do the full setup. I was going to let my son Preston do it, but obviously he knows a little bit about quads. So I'm going to let my wife do it, who's never, probably ever set up a quad before in her life, and let's see how she does. So first thing, plug it in, and let's put on the goggles. All right, so the first step we're doing is we're turning on the radio. Okay, do the next step. Go ahead and go through those steps, sweetie. Steps. Is it right there? Oh, Read right on the screen. Here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we cheated a little. I, she was a little confused if roll versus pitch versus y'all. So we went over that with her, but now we're gonna have her do the wizard on her own for the second time. We went through it once with her, just so she knew the directions and show you how easy this is. Uh, I think we're gonna have to include a little paper with some, peop with some people's boards just to explain what some of the terminology is maybe so they'll have an easier time if they're brand new. But then again, for us you guys who have done it. Sticks until it does it. Well, that won't work. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's what I normally do. Oh, I don't know okay. the names. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So, all right, Preston's gonna come around here. Alex is gonna put the quad into his shirt so we can see the screen a little better. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this over the radio. Okay, go ahead, sweetie, turn it on. Okay, detecting the radio. Now it says move the arm switch. All right, you're good. Move circles, two seconds. Okay, you're good. Go ahead and center the sticks. There you go. That's pretty easy. All right, now it says move the throttle to the bottom, which is the left stick, all the way to the bottom. Y'all stick left, which is also the left stick. All right, you can let go. Now it says move the pitch stick back or down, so there you go. Now it says move the roll stick to the left, roll left. That is right. <laughs> roll left, <laughs> roll left, come on. I can't roll. All right, you rolled left, but she doesn't know if it left from the right. All right, so it's now too much pressure. I can't do it. Now what it's asking <laughs> is it's asking which way your props spin. So when you're using reverse props, the the left at the left top left prop, the edge is higher on the left side. So because of that, we're gonna put left. But so if, the the side that's the highest is the one that hits the air first. Correct. So whichever one, so they're spinning spinning out, which means the left prop. So we're going to y'all left for reverse props, which, go ahead and do that. Okay. So now, we need to place our arm switch in the arm position. And it is, do I have to move it to make it? Yep, it's in the arm position, you're fine. Okay. So it says move, roll, right to confirm you're in the arm position, so go ahead and do that. Roll, right, that one. Okay, so now, make sure your props are off. They are off. And to confirm where props are off, it says roll right and y'all left. There you go. So now one of the motors is spinning. So now we pick which one's spinning so by putting in the corner. I can't so see which one it is. Is so it front the right? The front right is spinning. So, so we're going to go ahead. to the front right. Yep. All right. Now, if we look at it, the back, back right is spinning. So we're going to put it in that corner. Now the back left. So we're going to put it in that corner. All the way in that corner, sweetie. There you go. And now the front left. There you go. Now they let go. Now it says put the quad on its nose 
and push the roll stick right. So now we're doing the orientation of the board. So put it, point it down to the ground. There you go. Here, we're having Alex help us. And push the roll stick right. That's the right one, sweetie. There you go. All right, so now it's getting all the information, how it mapped everything, uh, where the gyro, what mode we're in, all that stuff. So it looks good. So now the wizards are complete, it's saved. So all we have to do is reboot the quad. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this underneath it so the pads don't catch. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. So arm the quad, and then you can just yaw. If that's working, it's probably set up right. Okay, let's do a flight.